If you're an artist and you want to travel and you want to tour the world, one of the proudest moments is when you get your name on a flight case. So this is it, we're backstage here. All the various pointers and signs for artists need to know exactly where they're going because back here it's going to be chaos once the award ceremony starts, it's going to be chaos, so everything is clearly laid out. Up those stairs to the stage of the O2 arena. So basically what's happening here is various rehearsals, dress rehearsals for presenting, for awards, and also there's lots of bands rehearsing for tonight. This is one of the most important areas of any live show, gig, awards ceremony, whatever. This is where a lot of the monitoring work goes on, the visual and the sound stuff, so that it all sounds great for the performers on stage. So this area is cool. And in fact, if you ever find yourself hanging to the side here during someone's performance or whatever, get out of their way, because these guys don't play. Their job is to keep the show on the road, your job is to watch it. Alright, so this is as far as we go at this point in the day, because One Direction are over there right now doing their sound check, and I guess understandably so, they want to keep it a surprise for people. But, this is still a cool area, this is the loading area for all the bands and performers backstage, so you'll see lots of sets of drum kits and instruments all laid out neatly so that when it's time for them to be loaded onto the stage performance it's done so quickly and effortlessly. It's all about timing at these type of events. It's all about how quickly and how easily you can get things moving. Mumpets, right? Or Ben Howard. One of the two. Mumpets. Mumpets. Oh man. Now we're talking, right? Right in the belly of the stage here at the O2 Arena for Brit Awards 2013 and this is Come check this out. From a distance, you wouldn't think anything was going on back here, but honestly, for a, for a music fan of these, of these bands to be this close to the rig, come and take a look. Some steps that are clearly gonna play a role in the Brit Awards, that's gonna be part of some set dressing for performance. And over here, we all know what this is, right? This is Justin Timberlake. Look at this percussion rig. My God, that is incredible. And just take a look around for a second. I mean, this whole, the whole entire expanse, the back of the stage is dedicated to his, to his band. I mean, there must be 20 people playing in his band tonight. And I guess those steps are part of his, of his set. I guess, I'd imagine he does a little, with his cane, little suit and tie, suit and tie. This is what happens after the performance is done. A whole bunch of really strong dudes move this stuff. And look how quick they move. Oh, and this is the big one. They're gonna move this now, watch this. Look how huge that thing is. Wow. All for one song, right? One performance. And that's part of it. Well, this is probably the first time since we've been walking around backstage that you've actually got an essence of what the Brits are. From your point of view, from your couch, or wherever you're watching it, online, at home, on TV. That's kind of what it looks like. The theme is obviously curves this year. Judging from the walkway and the, the set design, lots of LED that's incorporated into that. That was a sort of whirlwind hour spent backstage at the Brits. You know, you've got the dressing rooms, you've got One Direction. My favorite part was actually being right into the belly of the stage where all the stage hands and the roadies and all the techs were kind of moving everything around. I always think that that to me is sort of the magic of, of concerts and magic of events. I mean, what you see on your TV screen or on your computer screen is, is what they want you to see. And, and that's, that's a big part of what makes it look so special and makes people dream of being here. But I always love it when you just see the people really hustling the stages on and off, you know, the sets on and off and, and all the lights and all the stuff that goes into it and all the flight cases. I mean, it's remarkable, man. The amount of effort that goes into what is effectively a two or three hour show. And then tomorrow, by the afternoon, this will be just an empty venue again, ready to be dressed by somebody else. It's kind of romantic when you think about it.